Okay, I don't know what's going on, but the guy noticed that we were upset and he said, hold on, wait a minute. We might get lucky right now. Welcome back to another video and today I'm very excited because you guys know me and nature and animals like I just love all that stuff remember how I was in the butterfly sanctuary <laughs> I'm so excited right now I'm like a little kid so today's gonna be one of those days we woke up super early and rented a motorbike and came out to the southern coast of Sri Lanka here in Hikadua and Hikadua is known for like their turtle wildlife they have, I guess, seven species of turtles in the entire world, and five of them are here in Sri Lanka all the time. So we are here at the Hikadua Nature... Sea Turtle <laughs> Hatchery and Rescue Center. Yes, and we are first gonna go inside and take a look at the sea turtles and like the hatcheries and see like how all this stuff happens. And then hopefully later we'll be able to release the baby sea turtles into the sea. Which like, that's the only thing I want to do. I think that's the cutest thing ever to see those. And I want to film them for you guys. So we are inside the hatchery right now. This is cool. So they have all these little like pods and inside of them are huge turtles. Like think of this guy, he's big. I think he's missing a few limbs. He's not looking too hot. And then these little guys, look at the little babies. Well, look at the size of this guy. He's huge. Wow. So we just left the hatchery. We didn't really show you guys anything because it's kind of sad. It's depressing. Yeah, it's depressing. I would say like, it's. I think they're doing a good thing. They are like taking care of some of these turtles that are missing limbs and, uh, and it is a place that they're hatching these newborns. Uh, but they said there's no releasing of turtles today. But the problem is like, we keep hearing mixed answers and information yeah. all over online. Like, there's no information online, really. So we assumed that you would come here, you'd pay the thousand rupees to get in, and then you would be able to like get a tour and they would explain everything. And then at some point during the day, you would be able to release the turtles into the sea. Yeah. But that's not the case. And as soon as we got in, they said, no, that, that's not happening today. That'll happen next week. But then two people, one before we got here that was on the beach down the road, and then a guy as we were walking out, they were like, you want to see the turtles release, right? And I was like, yeah, that's all we want to see. And he said, then go back to the beach that you were on. And around 5, 6 p.m. is when they do the release. We'll have to see. We'll go check it out. So, we have five hours to kill. So we'll go to Hikadua Beach show you around a little bit and yeah. hope that later we get to release the turtles. I feel like this is just a vlog that's failing totally. Epic fail. Epic Probably. fail of a vlog. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully it turns out like all I want to do is just hold the little baby turtle and release him into the wild. That's like all I want to do. So this is the spot where we're supposed to come. These are the eggs I guess, the little sea turtle eggs inside of here. And they said to come to the Coast Guard place and ask. Each one of these little sections here is like a different type of turtle and it shows how many eggs are in here. So this one has 115, that one has 112, this one in the middle is 114, and it's Olive Ridley is the type of turtle. Most of these are Olive Ridley. And it's really interesting because they have police officers like stationed here because selling turtle eggs and baby turtles, I guess is a pretty popular thing around here. They get like five to six rupees, which is literally like a penny maybe for turtle eggs and they're becoming endangered so it's really nice to see these like organizations completely free set up on the beach protecting the turtle eggs is there a turtle release tonight today uh 6 30 6 you will come you can see yeah yeah okay great thank That's you so good thank you just as we told you guys there's just a complete lack of information yeah across 
just locals and online information. So they told us at the hatchery, no turtle releases today. Do you do re releasing no, of the no, turtles? No, not today. Not after one week. And we said, all up and down the beach, there's no turtle releases. The release of the baby turtles, no, not today. Not Nowhere, week. anywhere? No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Next they week. Want you to pay and come back to release turtles with them. However, the Coast Guard on the beach has a big turtle release tonight around 6.30 or 7 p.m. So, we got and lucky. It has to be just about dark so that the birds don't come down and scoop up the little baby turtles, oh. which is very sad. I, <laughs> I would hate to see that. Right? Uh, oh. So we have a whole day to kill, and then we're gonna come back at six o'clock and hopefully get some good video for you guys of these turtles. That's all I want. I don't think we're gonna be able to hold them and release them, no. but maybe there's a chance, I don't know. So now we're here at Hikadua Beach, which they call Turtle Point. And this is where like the big turtles are. And they have like some huge turtles, the one that we showed you in Stacia's Instagram story. And if you look behind me right here, there's just a whole sea of people in the sea surrounding this like one big turtle. And there's actually a few of them that come out here. I think you saw two when you were out this morning. I saw one, but there was two, was I just didn't see the second yeah, one. Yeah, the other one was like a little bit farther out. But this is, the, this is the place where people come to see the turtles. This is like a really good reef section where you can go snorkeling. And all out there on these rocks, like really far out there, is nice reef. And like, this is supposed to be like one of the top places in this area to go snorkeling yeah. and scuba diving and stuff. So, uh, too bad we didn't bring our bathing suits or snorkel gear or anything like that. If you guys don't want to watch this video, I don't blame you. Yeah, this, this video is just falling apart fast. All right, Stacia got to get in the water today and go see this turtle. I'm getting in right now. There's about three huge turtles here right now. There's one right here. Look at the size of this thing. They're so big. Oh, the big <laughs> Yeah. So my new friend Udaya, <laughs> this is him. Hello. Hello. He has been in the tourism industry for what you said, 20 years? 28 years. 28 yeah. years. Um, and he told me, you know, seeing the turtles is a fantastic thing and it's great that so many people come to admire the beauty that Sri Lanka has. However, two months ago, one of the 32 year old turtles died right on this cove because so many people were touching them with sunscreen on their hands. And what happens is the sunscreen will deteriorate the shell, uh, leaving room for fishes to attack and basically killed a 32 year old turtle where he should have lived to over 100 years old. And he said starting next week, fortunately, there's going to be like a boat, a boatman out there just making sure nobody touches the turtles or nudges them, just trying to protect their safety in this cove. So he was also saying that because of the tsunami, it pretty much wiped out a lot of like the reef and plant life and stuff, so they have really nothing to eat. So they're so used to coming to this beach. They, they come in the morning around like seven, eight, and nine, and they're used to people feeding them, and then they leave, and they come back around like four or five o'clock at night, again waiting for people to feed them which is good because they have no other way to, to get food but at the same time that's bad because he's saying that they don't really know how to survive on their own and find food so it's like a double-edged sword it's good that they're that they're eating but it's also bad in the long run this is michael everybody Sasha's <laughs> new friend <laughs> he just likes you he babe you. <laughs> come in the kisses oh <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this is some good footage they're getting. Yeah. Hey, Michael's peeing pee pee. on me. I, I, I have no luck. You're lucky guy. <laughs> peeing right on you. Oh, I'm just getting peed on. Hey, I get peed on by monkeys all over. I hear that's good luck.
and all of a sudden we're like, what is that water falling? And we look up and there's a monkey taking a pee on us. Okay, I just wiped Michael piss all off my body, rinsed off, and now we're walking through the, uh, the main street here, which is loud, crazy buses and cars. We're just gonna walk around like this little area, probably get some lunch, show you guys around. It's a cool little town. It's really built up. It's one of the larger tourist towns. It's only about an hour away from Colombo, an hour south of the airport. So that's why this area is pretty popular for tourists to come stay in. And it's kind of close to Gaul too, right? Yeah, really close, like a 20 minute drive from Gaul. So it's a nice area, I think. Yeah, and if you guys haven't seen our Gaul video, I'll link it right up here. So this is the main road of Hikadua. And you can see there's like shops and tourist information and just random, you know, restaurants and cafes. They also have these little shops right here, the dresses and flip-flops and beach stuff. Stacia's always about these little shops. I do need more clothes. know that if you come to Sri Lanka be ready for some heat I feel like the Sun here is hotter than any other country we have ever been to yeah wouldn't you agree yeah the UV index is like 13 in midday it's, it's nuts so we're slamming this water real quick and hanging out in the shade get it ah, ah. <laughs> that'll cool you off so this is pretty much what it looks like every day around five o'clock six o'clock the turtles come up, they know they can get fed by all the tourists, so they're smart. And I'm sure like on the weekends, it's even busier yeah. with tons more people. So remember earlier we were telling you that like you can't touch the turtles? It's great, this guy that's like keeping everybody under control, if anybody touches it, he throws seaweed at them or pushes them, it's awesome. And everyone's like standing like, what the hell? This guy right here, he's the best. So good. You Thank you for protecting the I turtles. Want. Thank you. Yeah. Hello! No. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Stacia's got all the turtle food. All the turtle food. There you go. <laughs> Here you go. If you like. Good boy. Good. It wasn't the baby turtles yet, but how no, do you feel? Like the baby turtles, but the big turtles are really cool. They're super big. Like, I can't believe how big they are, and they're really heavy. Try to pick one up or something? <laughs> well, the guy was telling me. So we are sitting here right now. It is 5.30 and we have to wait until 6.30 for the sun to go down for them to start releasing the turtles. So I'm really excited. Hopefully, I don't think we're gonna be able to touch them or hold no. them or put them in the water, which I'm very disappointed because all you people that keep touching the turtles, you ruin it for everyone else. <laughs> um, but we're at least gonna be able to see them, like hatch them and they're gonna walk their way into the sea. So that should be really cool. But we are just sitting here right now, waiting patiently for another hour and then hopefully see these turtles. Tomorrow? No. No. I kind of want to cry right now. No turtles. No turtles today. They said tomorrow because they're not ready to hatch. So um, we're going to go home with no baby turtles to show you. Sorry guys, and we live 90 minutes away so we really can't come back tomorrow. I said wait. He just waved at me. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but the guy noticed that we were upset and he said, hold on, wait a minute. Come on. We might get lucky right now. And everyone left. He's digging some out right now. Oh. <laughs> 
Fallon who said hold on. Eight. I did. So that's a bucket of water that he just grabbed from the sea and now he's putting the little turtles in there to kind of wake them up a little bit. <laughs> the anticipation is killing us because you have to wait until the sun goes down so the birds don't come in and get them. And there's crows all above us right now just waiting for some food. So I think I might be able to touch a turtle. I don't know. Touch, but but maybe you help him tip the bucket over. Who knows? It's almost that time. Very exciting. Little baby. So they're, they're so cute. I know they are cute. So he's now clearing a path so we can like let these bad boys go on their own. So they're making two lines of people and the turtles are gonna go down the center here and walk to the beach. Uh, thank you. Now, Ryan, I think your day has been made. There he is. Look at this little guy. Aww. <laughs> They're so cute. Aww. <laughs> I love him. What are we going to name him? Just what like do the we butterfly. name him? What are we going to name him? Well, you name him. He's your pet. Timothy the turtle. Timothy the turtle. Aww. Are you ready to swim? Turtle for the sea, buddy. Ryan's releasing a turtle into the sea. Yay! Yay! I think they're all in. Hopefully they're safe and sound. Right now everyone's checking to make sure that they're all safe and there's none like just sitting around flopping in the sand. Yay! Great to move. I know, right? You don't want to move. You're afraid of... <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited. Like, I'm so happy. Like, the day turned out exactly how we hoped. We thought it was a complete failure. And here we are, just finished releasing yeah. the turtles. I got to hold one. It was exactly what I wanted to do. I'm so happy. The moral of the story for us and for the baby turtles is even if it doesn't look good, don't give up. Don't give up. Just keep keep on swimming into the shoreline. <laughs> <laughs> really bad lighting. We're using a palm tree light right now. But if you guys want to come do this, first you got to come to Hikadua Beach. Yes. And I would say the first thing to do is come over to this lifeguard stand right here. Coast Guard. Lifeguard, Coast Guard. And ask the Coast Guard guys if they're going to be releasing any turtles. Right here, this is the area where they have all the turtles hatched underneath this area that we showed you earlier. So I would come here first, talk to the police and the Coast Guard, ask them if they're going to be releasing any this evening, and then hopefully you'll be able to see them. Yeah. You have to wait until sundown. Um, but in the meantime, like we did, you can go over to the next beach called Turtle Beach Turtle and that's Point, yeah. Turtle Point and that is where you can like play with the big turtles. You can't play with them, but you can feed them, feed them and swim around and snorkel with them. So that's really cool too. And there's lots of great restaurants and, and beautiful beaches, but definitely come here if you want to do this amazing, amazing time. Good. So yeah, so that's about it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button on your way out. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.